You know, one of my great passions is building things with my hands, and I've been doing it all my life. But what gives me even more pleasure is passing these skills on to the next generation. And what better way to do that than to grab your Trojan hand tools and teach your friends how to build the quintessential Aussie Billy Cart. You ready to go, guys? Yeah. Now, the good news is you don't have to be an expert to have a crack at this project. Now, between you and your helpers, you should be able to knock this one out in a day. Let's go, guys. This is what you're gonna need for the job. Some timber, screws, bolts, axles, and the materials. Check out the how-to guide for all the steps. Plus, these Trojan tools. A handsaw, pliers, scale rule, tape measure, screwdriver, and a hammer. We're gonna build this billy cart in two stages. First, we're gonna do the timber construction, and then we're gonna do the steering and the wheels. First thing, you're gonna get all your timber together, and then you're gonna measure and cut it to size. Now cut along your marks being as precise as possible. The sizes are all on the how-to sheet on the website. Trojan handsaws are ideal for the job. They're Australian designed with hardened teeth that are sharp enough to cut through just about anything. Now we've cut all our pieces, it's time to glue and screw it all together. First up, the seat. Glue and screw the pieces together. All right, you wanna give me a hand? Yeah. All right, first, just run me a nice little bead of glue down there. We're gonna put it just over here. Screw the frame to the seat. Today we're screwing this together by hand, which means all our joints are going to be nice and flush. And another great tip when you're using a screwdriver is to line up all the crosses on your screws. Now this is called dressing the screws, which gives you a beautiful handcrafted look. It's even easier with these Trojan screwdrivers with a magnetic tip. And the handles fit nicely into the palm of your hand. Well, now we're up to stage two, and that's the steering and the wheels. Drill holes for the axle and the rope steering column. Then flip it over and install the brackets for the axle. Well, that's the tough bit done. Now we're up for the wheels. How do you do that? Oh, you're going to put one of those washers on, then slide the wheel on, and then we're just going to put one of those little split pins in there. Yeah. Put a wheel on. Give it a quick sand to remove the sharp edges. To start, we're going to use a Trojan sanding sponge. Now I chose about 80 grit because that's going to get these rough edges off. Then smooth it off with a 220 grit sanding sponge for the perfect finish. Now you can paint this any colour you like or you can use this timber stain just to protect the timber for longer. But today, I think we're going to put a racing stripe down the side to make it really cool. What do you guys think? Yeah. Cool. Dust it off and it's ready to paint. Next is the steering. You can make it more elaborate, but we're using the tried and tested rope method. That's it. Beautiful. Last but not least is the braking system. Now this 32mm bit of dowel is going to make the perfect brake. Just drill a hole through it, add some rubber to the end to create some friction against the wheels, and attach it like this. Bob's your uncle, a billy cart. Now it's simple, but at least you can say you've made it yourself with a little help from Trojan. What's it like, Kai? Great! Let's go. To make this billy cart, just follow the Made By Me and Trojan step-by-step -step guide. 